Hello, 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 hello. Today I'm going to do a problem about diffraction. I've never done one before, so it's about time. This problem, it's relatively easy, is going to be the precursor to the next one. And it deals with single slit diffraction. I have a narrow slit, in my case only 0.1 millimeters across, and I shine a red laser beam through that slit and I look at a very far distance away from that slit, I look on the wall, the light pattern that I will see. And that pattern is called the diffraction pattern. The surprising thing may be that the bright central part of what you will see on the wall is much larger than the width of the slit. That's the result of diffraction. And you will see on either side of that very bright maximum on your wall, you will see points with zero light. Those are points of destructive interference. There is no light. But then, if you go a little bit further to the side on the wall, you will see light again. On either side of the maximum, you will see light again. And then you will see again zero light. And that repeats itself. So there are many points which have destructive interference. Let's take a look at what I have here. Here is the slit which has dimension capital D and here is my red laser which I shine onto the wall here and this distance L is huge, about 3 meters, huge compared to D. What you see now on the wall here, what I've been trying to describe to you, you see maximum light right here, and then on either side of that maximum light, you will see several points of destructive interference with no light at all. In between those points of no light, you will see again a little light. This is the pattern that you would see if you would look straight at the wall from this direction. So here you see that maximum and notice that on either side of them you will see points with zero light, complete darkness, destructive interference. I will call on the wall the center of that bright light I will call that x equals zero and this I will call the x-axis. Let's take a closer look now at this pattern. So the pattern that you will see is in terms of the intensity of the light as a function of x will have this strange curve. You see an enormously bright central maximum. You see a point here with zero light, destructive interference, and on this side also one with zero light, and here is 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 zero light. Is zero light. The intensity here at the central maximum is arbitrarily called 1. I will not ask you ever to calculate if this light intensity is 1, what the light intensities are of these sub-maxima. That's not what I'm after. Look what you would see here if you really looked at the wall. You would see this bright maximum here at x equals 0, followed by 
very faint maxima, you see them here, and in between are the points of no light at all, destructive interference. Now, D is 0.1 millimeters, L is 3 meters, and I'm using a laser beam, 650 nanometers wavelength. I want you to calculate for me what the distance is on the wall between this zero light point, destructive interference, and that zero light point, destructive interference. And I call the distance between the two W, and W stands for Walter. I would like you to give me W in terms of millimeters. And as I already predicted, it will be much larger, of course, than 0.1 millimeters. This is not a difficult problem, it's certainly high school physics, uh, but I need this introduction for the next problem. The next problem won't be very hard either, but very interesting. So first I want you to work on what we call single slit diffraction. You want to use the web online? That's fine, that is not cheating. If you simply use the results of the web blindly, you haven't learned anything, but that's up to you. That's your decision. My advice is, if you learn from the web how to calculate this W, then try to follow step by step how online they arrive at that. But whatever you prefer to do is fine with me. Okay? Have a nice day. Take care. And of course, of course we'll be friends. That is always a given.